So tell us what you think about Aund Astro's chances this season. Now this squad is a humdinger indeed. It reminds me of the hoity-toity upper class that have reluctantly come down to a lower level to play with the poorer strata of society. Don't ask me why. I just feel that way. You can see a plethora of talent in this squad, even though they are without a keeper right now, which means they'll use the AVGKL option, that means the Any Valley Goalkeeper Loan option, which is prevalent in the TZLC. So, I'll talk about the other positions. Firstly, what makes it difficult is that you have players that are under contract to play only in certain positions. Not exactly team oriented, but as per my earlier remark, he'll fit in perfectly with the prawn eating brigade. Before the Aund Astros fraternity start issuing death threats in my name, let me reiterate, it's not that the Aund Astro players are oh so posh, but that it just seems so. How would the star men line up for me? They have the most number of left-sided players in the entire TZLC. That's what has me leaning towards Aund Astros coming up from nowhere to get promoted and win another cup. I'll talk about everyone's superstar first, Samir Chavan. No doubt in anyone's mind he'd be the first pick for any coach. Why? Because regardless of his stature in the game, his talent, he'd always be picked because his head is not in the stars too. He's a born leader and leads from the front, does his share of the work and is a team player also. First pick in any side, except this time, except this time round, Aund Astros has many such first picks. But we'll come back to that later. Samia would play one of four, yes, four central midfielders in this team. I would play four six, no strikers. 4-6. I'll explain this formation later on. The other left footers are the manager Saurabh Jangle, Django, Mayuresh Manke, Mayur, and Shivang Joshi, Chotu. Aund Astros purchased Chotu just the other day and have a very talented left footed player. I haven't seen him play recently. But if he's even 70% of the player I used to coach, then Chotu will be a fantastic addition to this side. A very fit individual and could easily make penetrating runs down the left. He'd be left back for me. Django next. Another quality player that is capable of playing quality crosses into the box from deep and the byline. His fitness is questionable. But at left midfield, the job Continuously switching with Chotu would be scary for opponents. The last left footer who is actually adept with both his appendages is also lacking in practice. So his concentration may waver at times, but his determination won't. A strong-willed individual and powerful while playing also. If he cur curbs the rush of blood to the head, Mayur would be extremely difficult to beat. His position, left central defence. His partner would be the type of player that usually takes a back seat. Not because he's weaker, but because he allows the other players to shine. He's someone who is immensely talented but lacks confidence. I honestly feel his mentality would be the yin to Mayur's yang. His name's Amar, Amarnath Venkat Ramani. I'm afraid the ex-manager Kunal Agarwal will have to stay away from his favourite position up front for the time being. I don't want Kunal to play at right back and focus on defending. Although as he is not a regular at practice sessions as neither is Harshad Papat who I'd start off as right midfielder. I'd willingly allow these two to keep interchanging positions constantly. You must have heard so many so-called experts talk of the diamond formation. But mine is different. Santosh Pai would be placed in what I call his ideal position. In the hole as a defensive midfielder. 
his job would specifically be to help Amar and Mayuresh while laying the ball off to any of his teammates that are free. Just one or two touches is the norm. To his right, just slightly in front, but to the right of Samia, I'd see at right central midfield the second most expensive signing in the TZLC, Sean Matthews. His probably only weak point is his heavy touch at times, but in every other department can compete with the best in the business. The club's fourth central midfielder would be the only guy left, last but not least, Aditya Kotbagi. In this player, they have signed a player that is exuding in confidence, a strong and fit player. I predict he will terrorize all the opponents he faces. Sean, Samya and Aditya would be asked to test the goalkeepers at any opportune moment. With four in central midfield, you have one player, Santosh, whose duty is to help his defenders by blocking moves in the attacking quarter or half and rarely going up towards the attacking quarter. Aditya, Samya and Sean would keep interchanging positions. Django and Harshad should take the ball to the goal line and cross or release ground passes to the four CMs, the four central midfielders. Thank you for your time. I'll get back to you regarding Blazing Eagles and Royal Warriors later.